Hello everyone, welcome to Sham Story Time. My name is Shamala and I have a very interesting old Indian folk tale for all of you. Are you ready? The name of the story is The Donkey, the Dog, the Cat and the Rooster. Okay? Long, long, long ago this happened, there was a washerman who had an old donkey to help him. This donkey would carry all the clothes to the stream where the washerman would wash all the clothes and then dry them and put them on the donkey's back and they would walk back home. Every day this was a routine. Many years passed and this donkey became very old. He was not able to walk, neither was he able to carry a lot of load. So the washerman decided he will do away with the donkey. He wasn't able to feed the donkey and take care of him when he wasn't doing any work. The washerman led him out on the road and didn't bother about the donkey at all. The donkey felt very bad. My master made use of all my strength while I was young and strong. Now I've become old and he's not taking care of me, thought the donkey. But he had one secret desire. He wanted to become a musician. So he wanted to find some friends and make a big band. So as he was walking, he saw a cat. This cat was crying. He asked, why are you crying, dear cat? The cat said, you know what, I became very old and my master is not able to feed me enough milk because I'm not able to eat the rats that are running around. I've lost all the strength on my legs. So my master put me on the road. The donkey said, don't you worry, the same situation is with me as well. Come, both of us will go and I'm going to start a band. You can also join. The cat said, okay. And both of them started to walk. In a while, they met a dog which was also weeping. So the donkey asked, hey little dog, why are you weeping? The dog said, I'm not little, okay, I'm very old. I may look like a small dog, but I'm actually a very old one. So my master is unable to take care of me. I'm not able to keep guard at night. So my master let me in the road. The donkey said, don't you worry, I'm going to start a band. You can join us. Both of us are also in the same situation as you. So the donkey, the dog and the cat kept walking. They met with a rooster. The rooster was also weeping and had a similar story. The donkey said, don't you worry at all. All three of us have similar stories. Join us. I'm going to start a band and you can also be part of the band. Come with me. So the four of them started to march towards the forest. They went for a long time. They felt tired and hungry. And then the cat said, look here, I can't walk here on. Let's rest here for some time. Then tomorrow we will continue our walk. So the rooster climbed on top of the tree. The cat, the dog and the donkey, three of them slept under the tree. They woke up after one or two hours, their stomachs were trembling. You know, when you're very hungry, you can't get sleep. So the donkey said, I'm unable to sleep, my stomach is rumbling. Same here, said the dog and the cat. They called out to the rooster, hello, do you see anybody or anything around? We are in need of food. The rooster said, little farther away, I see a cottage. And from the chimney, I see some smoke coming. Looks like there are people, there is smoke, which means there's food. Let's go and see who is there. So all the four of them walked towards the cottage. They had come into the depths of the jungle. There was this lonely cottage. So all four of them could not reach the window. So first the donkey stood on top of him. The dog climbed on top of the dog. The cat climbed on, on top of the cat was the rooster. Then the rooster peeked through the window and said, looks like there are three men. They seem to be like robbers from the way they are speaking. But on the dining table, I see a lot of food. How can we eat it? The men will not allow, said the rooster. The donkey said, I have an idea. All four of us will sing at the same time. Let's see if they get scared and run away. The donkey started to break. The dog started to go. The cat started to meow. The rooster started to crow. Now all four of these noises at the same time. Can you imagine how it will be? The three men inside the house were startled. They didn't know where this noise was coming from. They looked here, they looked there, they looked out of the window. It was so dark. I told you it was in the middle of the forest. Then they got scared. They thought that there is a ghost that has come. All three of them ran out of the house and they fled. 
Now the four of them, the donkey, the dog, the cat and the rooster entered the house. They went directly to the dining table and they started to fall off. Their stomach was full. They decided to sleep for a while. The cat said, I'm going to sleep inside the stove. It's very warm and cozy there. The cat went there. The dog said, I will sleep next to the gate. So I will know if anybody enters. The dog said, I will sleep next to the carpet wall. The rooster said, I will fly to the top. I will sleep on the roof. So four of them went to their respective places. They started to sleep. Now the three men that went away, they were observing the house from a little far. They saw a lot of noise, a lot of movements. They thought it was ghost. But after some time, it was absolutely still. So the men decided, okay, the ghosts have run away. Let's go to the home now. Then the three of them came very near the house. Then one said, only I will go first. And if everything is fine, you can also come in. So just one man came into the house through the back door because he was scared to enter through the front door. He directly went to the kitchen, wanted to check on the stove. Then the cat came out and scratched him all over. He screamed and ran to the living room. And then out of the front door, he went to near the parapet wall. The donkey was there. The donkey kicked him so hard. He screamed once again and ran to the gate. There was our dog. He barked and bit him all over. This man got so scared. The dog and the donkey together gave him one kick jumped onto the roof and who was there the rooster the rooster pecked him all over he couldn't bear it anymore he just rolled down the roof and fell off when he fell he ran outside of the house the two men were waiting for him he told them don't you dare to enter the house there are lots of ghosts inside you know i met with one who scratched me who bit me who kicked me and even pecked me let's not go there we have to run away from this place so the three of them ran away from the house and the four animals the donkey the dog the cat and the rooster had a very very happy time living in that house did you all enjoy today's story i heard this story when i was 10 years old and a neighbor told me the story actually this is a very old Indian folk tale. I hope all of you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sham Storytime. You will have access to many stories. Bye-bye.